Well, good morning, YouTube. So this is the final day, and uh, we're just waiting for this rain to pass. It's still only early. It's um, ten past. <laughs> sorry. Ten past seven. Um, by midday, they're saying it'll have cleared up. As you can see, it's, it's barely light yet. So we're just going to chill, let this pass. And it's uh, it's blowing, as you can probably see from the tent. So that should help us... Uh, dry everything out and in the meantime we can have breakfast a shower pack the tent up and uh, and hopefully get on our way probably around about midday with a bit of luck uh, I'm just going to enjoy the last day uh, get on for tea time probably I mean no big rush about a three hour ride home so it's not a big deal hopefully <laughs> and after lunch uh, it's saying that uh, it's it's going to uh, to be a bit better. Might it might even be dry. I hope so because it make a nice ride home. So I've got another SD card I've loaded and a new battery. So uh, talk to you all later. So packing to go, and uh, Harry's flying his kite. Literally. <laughs> Just look at it. Bloody sod's law, isn't it? It's coming this way, buddy. It's uh, bike packed, just letting the tents dry. This is absolutely working perfectly for us, it's better than we could have hoped for. And now I've got to stop yabbering on and go and give this poor chap a hand because he's having all kinds of problems. Okay, so still having trouble with this damn drift camera. The remote's broken. Uh, but I'm sure Cam Bike will tell me how to use it because uh, he never uses a remote anywhere. So that's it, we're done. We're all packed up and uh, just getting ready to leave. And it's 10 past one on Thursday afternoon. And just look at this. Absolutely glorious. It's the best day we've had. But this morning at eight o'clock it was torrential rain. You just won't believe it. Anyway, I got this to ride home in. So I'll speak to you all in a bit. Okay, so we're just getting ready to set off. And it's now nineteen minutes past one. I haven't got a remote control, so I'm just gonna leave this camera running and when it runs out, it runs out. That's the end of it. But I should get the, most of the Norfolk bit. And the rest of it you've seen anyway, before, many times before. And then uh, that'll give me something to make. But this this camera looks like it's coming to the end of its useful life. Uh, I haven't got a... F I charged the remote up, but it's not responding. So whether... The w I left it out in the rain again, that's the problem. It's a dratted nuisance. <laughs> so it's saying... 141 miles, 16.53, and I'm going to try and do it without stopping this time because uh, I only took my time last time because I didn't know what time Harry was coming for, so I didn't see the point rushing. I got Tetley nicely warmed up. It's the driest the grass has been all the time we've been here. <laughs> and that's all that's left of the campsite.
so this is the way out and this is a it's, a it's a nice little road but you've got to be a bit careful because it's bloody narrow and this is the way we came out yesterday we went over there just to uh, Wyburn and Holt and um, Cromer and where was the other place we went to oh Sheringham so it was Cromer, Sheringham Wyburn and then back to Holt I've had an absolutely cracking three days, really enjoyed it. Um, the weather has been interesting, but uh, we had the equipment to get through it and in all honesty, it, it really didn't make a lot of difference. Um, last night was glorious, we, could, we sat out under the stars, it was really nice and had a steak lunch and a few beers. Uh, I think we were talking till midnight. Yeah, it was it was grand. Slept like a log. <laughs> First night in the tent, couldn't get to sleep. I think it was just the strange surroundings. Second night, uh, turn the light switch off, and that was it. I was gone. <laughs> and then the same last night. Uh, I had a real good catch up with Harry. Thoroughly enjoyed his company. I always do. It's it's good fun. And. Uh, Highly recommend that campsite to any of you that are looking for somewhere to stay in Norfolk. It, it's superb. The, the lady who runs it, farmer's wife, she is absolutely brilliant. Really, really good host. So we went down there yesterday. That takes us down to Wyvern and Kelly, but it also takes you onto the Cromer Road, which we're going to meet up here. So I'll try and remember that the camera is on and tell you what's going on but I'm, I'm not used to vlogging this way it's a bit alien to me I like to be able to turn my camera on and off so but I, 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 I don't know water or something has gone into this remote and I do know you can't get replacements which is a flipping nuisance but it was it was destined to be, you know, I mean, everything breaks in the end, doesn't it? So, and it, I certainly can't complain. I've had my money's worth out of it. Slippery under here. Up to now, we've done 198 miles, 0.8 on, this is, I'm, I'm still on my second tank of gas. So, not bad. And it's saying, uh, it's now saying 174 miles home. So Harry's going to follow me as far as Fakenham and then he's going to turn and go south and I'm going to continue going west until I get to uh, Hull Beach and then onto the uh, A16 and up through Boston. I am not going up. The, the route it's got planned for me I'm not doing. I don't like that route. And this is the A148. What's up here? What's the matter? Have they?
Eh? The come and done? Oh, right. Have you sorted it? No. All right. Yeah. Oh, stupid bloody thing. Yeah. No, I'm glad you stopped me. Well, that'll hold it. That'll hold it, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it goes, like I say, if it goes in the back wheel, we'll... So, this is Fairsford. I'm just following uh, Harry. And uh, it's uh, where we're going to, uh, just a few miles up the road here is where we're going to turn off at uh, Fakenham. I'm using me sat nav on my phone. 2.5 miles to the roundabout where we turn off. And uh, put the camera back on. Oh, it's not easy to operate it when it's um, without the remote. I don't know how people do it. It doesn't suit me in the slightest. It just seemed a shame not to get some of these roads. Little snoring. Yeah, that's a great name. Makes me laugh. They put these roadworks. Oh, I know why they've done it. There's a damage. Uh, yeah, well that makes sense. The drain covers have have sunk, so they may be collapsed. Could be dangerous, couldn't it? planning to do this again next year, make it an annual thing, <clears throat> but we said we might do it earlier in the year, maybe July time, you know, so we get lighter nights, but having said that, doing it in September, um, <clears throat> once you get the fires and that going, it's okay, but <clears throat> my tent lights are definitely inadequate. Um, my, I, my, I took a gas light, but for two days there, we, we were having problems with it. And then last night, it won't work at all. Anyway, Harry was messing about with a, with a jet in it. And uh, he managed to clear it out. But anyway, he's taking it back to his workshop to have a better look at it. It'll only get used when we do these camps. So it can just as easily come with him as come with me. But I think I need to buy another one anyway. So, you know. Once it gets dark, it was really dark, you know, and I was struggling, really struggling, particularly in my tent, because I got two little lights, and uh, the, the write-up for them was very good. But um, in all honesty, the, you couldn't have read by them. And the weirdest thing is, the cheaper of the two was the better light. The all singing and dancing red one, but uh, just, just listening to the satin ad lady. Yeah, the, the it was all right, but you know, if you woke up in the middle of the night, it was good enough. But it was not; you couldn't read by it. <clears throat> one of the good things about riding in pairs, Harry managed to stop me there. I'd, one of the straps on my luggage was starting to come undone. Unfortunately, on this new bag, I've lost one of the straps. God knows what I've done with it. But I bet you I'll find it when I get back. I bet you. So, if I, unless I'm mistaken, this is where he, uh, Harry B turns left. Yeah, 1067, that's how. No, he's going another one. That must be the Norwich Road I've got mistake with. This is Thersford.
It's uh, famous for a um, steam engine collection, if I'm not mistaken. And that's it, the boy is on his way back to market, me to Beverly. 20 miles to Kings Lynn. So northbound over the uh, the Humber Bridge. Yeah, that's as rough as I've seen the the river in a long, long time. Really choppy under there. Oh, okay. really dangerous piece of water under the bridge. The, it's running about three different ways. It's coming this way and it's going that way under the bridge. My God, you won't want to fall in there, you wouldn't stand a chance. The flow is unbelievable. It's really, really fast. You've got to be careful going between the towers. Yeah, it knocks you about like that. If you've, if you've never been over the Humber Bridge, be very careful of these towers on a motorbike. It's blowing so hard, I'm having to lay the bike slightly to the left. Just ever so slightly. That's looking down the river towards the North Sea. And then up river. Where we were the other week we would ease to our left. Apparently they're doing, they've taken the outer cable in, the covers off the cables and they're, uh, they're doing something to the cables underneath, making repairs. It makes me feel dizzy just looking up there. 